Hi everyone, I'm Emily and today we are going to make a simple motor using electricity and magnetism. For this one, you need some disc magnets, some copper wire, a battery, I'm using a AA battery, and then something to cut your copper wire. And because we're dealing with magnets, you should have adult supervision. Don't put magnets around any electronics and be careful when you're playing with disc magnets because your fingers can get stuck in them and it can really hurt. We're going to make our copper wire spin around our battery using something known as the Lorenz force. Now the Lorenz force is created when you have a current carrying wire in the presence of a magnetic field. That's a lot of information, right? So let's go through it one by one. Our copper wire is going to be our current carrying wire. Copper is conductive, which means that electrons can move through it pretty easily. And our battery is going to generate a current through our copper wire. And this is going to be in the presence of the magnetic field created by our magnets. We're not sure which is the North and South Pole here. Let's assume this one is the North Pole. In a magnet, the magnetic field moves from the North Pole to the South Pole all around the magnet like this. So we're going to have our current carrying wire in the presence of our magnetic field, and that's going to create the Lorentz force that acts upon the copper wire. That's how we're going to make our copper wire move around our battery. We're going to have our battery sitting on top of our magnets like this. The goal here is to have our copper wire touch the top of our battery and also the magnet so we can complete a circuit. You can make whatever you want here. The trick is going to be to make a wire figure that's gonna be able to balance on top of that battery, especially as it spins. It is a lot harder than it looks. One way I found to do it is by making something that looks kind of like a Christmas tree. So just, if you have a spool of copper, unwinding it just like so. And now you want to be able to create a little knob at the top for it to balance on top of your battery. We can go ahead and try this out based on what we have right now. See, that's not working because it's not long enough to touch the magnet at the bottom. So we have an open circuit that's not going to create any force on our wire. You can see it's starting to work. is creating current through our wire which is in the presence of a magnetic field because of the magnet and because we have a current carrying wire in the presence of a magnetic field we get the Lorentz force acting upon our wire and moving it around just like so. I have another one that I've made here that works a little bit better. Look at that our little motor! So the cool thing here is we can actually change the direction it moves in. We can change the direction of the Lorentz force by switching the direction of the magnetic field. And how do we do that? We just switch the magnet, just like so. So before it was moving around this way, and now let's watch. Woo! And now you can see the force is moving it around this way, the opposite direction. You can make many different types of these with uh, copper wire, so get creative. This is another one I made. Ta -da! It is so hard to get these to balance. When they finally work, it's like, ah! And if you really wanted to get creative, you could make a dancer out of your wire figure and have her dance around your magnet using the Lorenz force. And that is the science behind a simple motor with electricity and magnetism. Uh, it's clearly not very well balanced currently. Currently, it's a physics joke. 